Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis. In today's era and for the next few decades, the stealth fighters or 5th plus generation fighters are going to rule the world. The country having 5th generation fighters will be real super power. At present, United States F-22 Raptor, Russia's Su-57 or China's J-20 are the only stealth fighters in service. India has also started working on its 5th generation fighter program called MK or Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. The first model of MK was showcased at Aero India 2021 in Bengaluru on 3rd February. While there are arrays of foreign and indigenously developed weapons under display in Aero India 2021, the one amongst all of them that stands out is MK. In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about the latest design changes and the features of Indian stealth fighter MK. The MK is going to be a 5th generation fighter with 6th generation technology. It will have a single seat twin engine stealth all-weather multi-role fighter aircraft integrated with direct energy weapons and will have a super cruise ability. It is also planned to have both manned and unmanned operational capability. Now talking about the design, it has a shoulder mounted diamond shaped trapezoidal wings to reduce drag at transonic speeds and all moving canard vertical V tail with large fuselage mounted tail wings. It will have a divert less supersonic inlet DSI to reduce the fighter weight and radar cross section. The DSI further aids in increasing the performance and the maintainability of the fighter. The MK cockpit has a single seat configuration which is placed high near the air intakes and wings to provide good visibility to the pilot with a single bubble canopy construction. The weapons bay is placed on the underside of fuselage between the nose and main landing gear. The MK is going to have a serpentine shaped air index to reduce radar exposure to the fan blades which increases its stealth feature. The use of internal weapon bay and composite materials and radar absorbing materials further improves its stealthy property. MK will be equipped with quadruplex digital flyby optics flight control to improve pilot's handling. Now talking about its engine, MK will be initially powered by geometrically stealth 2 GE414 engines. DRDO is also working on development of indigenously developed 110 kN engine to power the future fighters and once it is ready, it can be used to power MK fighters as well. Talking about its electronics and avionics, MK will have a variant of Uttam AES radar developed by DRDO. MK's avionics suit will have IRST and Advanced Situational Oriented Electronic Warfare System and All Aspect Radar Warning Receiver, Self Protection Jammer, CMOS, Laser Warning Receiver and Missile Warning Suite. Defense Electronic Application Laboratory D has also developed a next generation network centric aircraft management system including weapons for MCA. The aircraft will have integrated modular avionics for real-time computing and fiber optics for faster data transfer. MK will have distributed processing system having fast processor and smart subsystems and will be electronically controlled by a central computational system. Now let's talk about the aerodynamic performance of MK. MK can attain a maximum speed of Mach 2.15 plus with a range of 3240 kilometers, combat range of 1620 kilometers and a ferry range of 5324 kilometers. It will have a service ceiling of 65,000 feet with rate of climb 59,000 feet per minute. MK will have an array of indigenously developed advanced weapons which will be nightmare for enemies. It will have a 23mm GSH-23 cannon for close combats. The non-STLD version of MK with External pylons will have 14 hardpoints and warhead carrying capacity of around 9 tons. The still the version of MK will have only internal weapon bay. For short range combat, it will use Astra missiles with range of 60 plus kilometers which is called Astra IR. 
In beyond visual range category, it can carry Astra Mark 1 with range of 110 km, Astra Mark 2 with a range of 160 km and Astra Mark 3 with a range of 340 km. In air to ground missiles category, it will have many options such as Brahmos NG, Sant and Rudram 1. It will also carry laser guided bombs and precision guided munitions such as saw and glide bombs. Talking about its production and delivery, the MCOR project will have private participation as well under the framework of a special purpose vehicle. The first flight of MCA is expected to begin between 2025 and 2026. It will be in full production by 2029. Initially, six squadrons of MCAs have been planned. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.